This video is going to be a showcase of a Geiger counter that I made about a year ago. At the heart of any Geiger counter, you're going to find the Geiger Muller tube. The one that I used in this project is the SBM20, which requires about 400 volts just to operate. The high voltage is achieved using a boost converter. The switch on the boost converter is driven by a 555 timer, and the high voltage is fed back through a resistor divider using a potentiometer to adjust the feedback. The feedback leads to an NPN transistor which is connected to control pin 5 on the 555 timer. As the voltage on the capacitor rises up to the level set by the potentiometer, the transistor brings pin 5 on the 555 down to ground. That increases the oscillations and reduces the output from the boost converter. This is how we adjust our voltage. Once we have a stable 400 to 450 volts, we connect that to the anode of the geiger muller tube through a 10 mega ohm resistor. The cathode of the geiger muller tube is connected to a 100 to 220K resistor to ground. When a particle of radiation enters the geiger muller tube, it ionizes the gas inside of it, allowing the high voltage to shoot through from the anode to the cathode. When this occurs, an electrical pulse can be detected between the cathode of the geiger muller tube and the resistor. This pulse is then amplified using a transistor, and the larger pulse is then fed to pin 2 on a 555 timer set up in monostable mode. This allows us to increase the duration of the pulse so it can be easily heard using a piezoelectric element or speaker and easily seen using an LED. I'll be sure to share a link in the description of uh, my final schematic, the comprehensive parts list, and the board design. I was then able to test the finished product using a piece of uranium ore that I purchased on eBay for about $12.